Hi, Rach. Hi, Rach. Hi, And today in this marvellous video, we've got our model here, Sammy. And we're going to attempt an outdoor shoot using all the Ellen Grom stuff. So gonna... Oh, let's go. Muscles. So, if you want to check out Sammy's channel, Sammy's Ice Hockey channel, 600 subscribers and half a million watch hours. Views. Views. Yeah, he's doing a lot better than I am. So check him out. Go, go and subscribe. <laughs> you can go and subscribe. But as about three of you watch this channel, it should be the other way around, I think. Well, they don't have three extra subscribers. <laughs> so I hope we get 603 subscribers. <laughs> okay. Go and subscribe, like the video, and give me views. Okay, so we're at Hot Off now, and this is the environment we're going to be shooting in now. Let me just turn you around. There we go. So the idea here is we're going to shoot um, something for Sammy's channel now. Um, going to shoot him um, how to how he does his um, stick, how he tapes his stick up. And then I'm gonna set the lights up. I wanna do some sort of environmental um, shoot with him. Cause we haven't, I'm quite any recent ones of him. So anyway, see how we get on. Don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but it'd be, it's just been nice just to do this for, for us and um, bring my, other three subscribers who watch along for the journey. Okay, I'll be babbling along. He's gonna get the stuff ready now. Look, <laughs> you join me today. It's Adrian Hyde of Adrian Hyde Photography, and today in this video, we're gonna be shooting some outside shooting at the shots using the Elinchrom HS and Pro Head. Now this stuff's quite old, but yeah, we're going to be using um, the 850 to shoot with. Normally I'd use the 800, but I'd put, put this body up today. And 70 to 24 to 8 length. Okay, so the first thing I will do is I will set up the backlight here which is pointing at my subject here. Okay, it's pointing at him. And I will, first of all, first stage is to set the ambient light. Make it a little bit lower than you would normally um, expose it for, so it's darker. And this, you set this light up second. So what happens is the light comes down and we just want him just to cut him out here a little bit. And then once you've got that set, then come over to the key light, which is this one where I say key light. It's the front light on his face here. And we want this pointing directly at Sammy. So then you build that up. So you have the ambient light, then you have the back light to cut him out and separate him. And then you have this light here to light his face up. So now that no, everything's nice and set, I will now just shoot him. Have some fun. This is the first photo I'm gonna take with no flash. And we're gonna underexpose this a little bit. So here's the first photo. Oops. first photo there you see that hopefully oh you maybe won't be able to see that let's see that there we go there's the first one nice and dark so we're going to drop the ambient and then we're then going to fire these two flashes here these are on hs on a high speed sync 
the moment we're running 5,000 of a second. Pretty good stuff. That's the Pro Head and that is the HS Head. So uh, let's take a shot there. Eh? Go on, Sammy. Let's take a shot. Just stay there. Of that one. I'll put it up afterwards properly. There we go. Okay, Sammy, let's have some ah. fun. Oh no, not at me. <laughs> go ahead, listen. I didn't even mean to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's make sure it's working. Are you working? Just like this one, she was fine. Yeah, you can see that, so. Right. Ah, I get nice and low to make him look very dramatic. Go. Nice. I missed that one. Go on, Sammy. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I need to be a little bit more under. The vibration is really good. Hang on, I'm going to open it. So that's it, we'll go into the, the computer now and we will edit these photos. Hopefully we've got some nice ones. So I'll see you back at the computer. I'm going to quickly take you through my edit of this photo using real time. So first of all, what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer here. Then I'm going to mask this a little bit out here. So let's go clone stamp option. Let's get rid of that. Okay, I've got rid of that. I've flattened those layers. Then I've got up here. I have flatten all layers. And now I'm going to run my engine. And that will do a 72 step process after that all flatten the image and I'll go for the quench look just to highlight it so I'm really happy with that let's flatten these layers again and the screen simply then the quench look there should be a brush on there and all I'm going to do then is paint in his clothes. It'll run a shortcut. And this is in real time. Here we see. You know, once it finishes doing its stuff, we can press B for brush, B for brush, and then just paint in some of these highlights around here. On the hair, just to really highlight the clothes and can stand out even more.
Okay, mm -hmm. I'll pull that down.